Are we alone in the universe? People are fascinated by science fiction. I think many people love reading about stories about creatures on other worlds and what the atmosphere would be like and how we would get there. While we can't answer most of these questions just yet, scientists have taken an important step in the search for life on a planet dozens of light years away. Uh, we found that the atmosphere contains methane and significant quantities of water. It's the first time an organic molecule has been observed or discovered in an atmosphere of an uh, extrasolar planet. So how can we know what an atmosphere is made of if the planet is too far away for us to visit? The answer lies in the message of starlight. We took a planet that was known to exist that had a configuration where it does pass in front of its, its own sun so that we can look at its sunlight through the atmosphere. We used something called a spectrometer, which breaks light into its colors, very much like a prism. And you can think of the sunlight being broken into the colors of the rainbow. Those colors tell us what is actually in that atmosphere. So now that we've found the building blocks of life on another world, does this help us answer the burning question? Are we alone? This planet is too hot. There isn't going to be any life on this planet that's decomposing and producing methane. Uh, this is methane that is just produced in the environment, and to be honest, we don't really know how yet. In the meantime, scientists will keep looking for that magical combination like we have on Earth, a planet where temperature and atmosphere are just like ours. From the Space Telescope Science Institute, I'm Mary Estacion.